Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. In response to Guru Frank 26's recent post about the potential issuance of a 1000 fill note in Iraq, there seems to be some confusion regarding its necessity and how it relates to the dinar currency system. The query raised by Guru Newshound Deepwoods echoes a sentiment shared by many who are trying to make sense of this proposed addition to the currency lineup. The crux of the confusion lies in the comparison with Kuwait's currency system, where the fills are subdivided differently from what is being suggested for Iraq. In Kuwait, the fills are indeed subdivided into 1, 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100, with 1,000 fills equivalent to 1 dinar. This system is straightforward and aligns with the common understanding of currency denominations. A higher denominations typically correspond to higher values. However, the situation in Iraq may not necessarily mirror that of Kuwait or other countries with a similar currency structure. While it might seem intuitive to follow the model set by Kuwait, each country's economic and monetary policies are shaped by unique factors, including historical contexts, inflation rates, and economic stability. In Iraq's case, the introduction of a 1000 fill note could serve several purposes. First and foremost, it could streamline transactions by reducing the need for large quantities of lower denomination notes. This is particularly relevant in an economy where cash transactions are still prevalent, and the demand for higher denomination notes might be warranted due to the size and frequency of transactions. Moreover, the issuance of a 1000 fill note could also be a strategic move to combat inflation and currency devaluation. In economies facing inflationary pressures, the value of the currency erodes over time, necessitating the introduction of higher denomination notes to maintain practicality and purchasing power. Additionally, from a logistical standpoint, introducing a 1000 fill note could simplify cash management for banks and businesses, reducing the costs associated with handling and storing large volumes of lower denomination notes. However, it's important to note that the decision to introduce a new currency denomination involves careful consideration and analysis by monetary authorities. Factors such as public perception, market demand, and the potential impact on inflation need to be weighed before any decision is made. In conclusion, while the idea of a 1000 fill note in Iraq may seem unconventional compared to currency systems in other countries, it could serve practical purposes in streamlining transactions combating inflation, and improving cash management. Ultimately, the effectiveness of such a move would depend on its implementation and the broader economic conditions in Iraq.